Hey, what's up, man? All right, so just a quick run through. Uh, you can ask me any questions afterwards. Hopefully, I'll cover as much as I can. So basically, what you want to do is you want to go to parsec that app forward slash downloads. Uh, you want to make sure, like it says here, you want to have Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, which most of us should have by now. Um, if you don't have Windows 10 or Windows 8.1, then you cannot host on your PC. So that's very important. So once you get the stuff downloaded, you create an account, right? You're going to create an account, sign in, go to the app. It's going to ask you to sign in as well. And now we're going to go straight to the hosting settings. Right now, since you're hosting, right, we don't care about the client settings too much, but the person connecting to your your server, you know, it matters to them. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have it enabled. Your hosting is enabled. What that will do is it will show up here like this. So this is one of my servers and uh, in a different computer, on a different computer that I could connect to whenever I want. But that's me as the client. Here, you are the host. So we want to have this enabled. Give it a name. The resolution, uh, this one, you kind of keep it as, keep the host resolution. But some people like to use the use client resolution, but I prefer keeping the host. Uh, the bandwidth limit, now this is very important. Uh, the reason why is, it's gonna split the connection. As, as it says here, it's gonna split the connection with every guest. So if you're gonna have more than uh, two people, Connecting or one, more than one, your, your connection is going to get split. So you don't want them to experience any lag. So, well, what number should you put, right? Let's go straight here. Let's do a speed test. And we don't care about the download. Right now, this is the download speed. And here's the upload. This is the one we care about right here. So you're going to put the max, which is, uh, for me, it looks like it's 36. So you want to get something closer, 35, 30, All right? I don't host from this PC anymore, but that's why it was on 50. Uh, you want to keep the frame rate 60 frames. Exclusive input, you're going to keep it off. Display, if you have more than one, uh, you could choose which monitor. Echo canceling on, especially you're gonna use Discord. And the gamepad, uh, I keep it 360, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, most games will, will recognize 360 controller. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, sure. Yeah, I think that's it. And that's how I have my setup. Um, is, is, oh, oh yeah, I forgot one of the most key uh, importance is that to make sure they add you as a friend. Because that way, all they need to do is click on your PC and click connect. And once they click connect, right down here, you're going to see their name pop up. And you have to allow them to connect to your to your PC. And another tip I would suggest is you can um, if there's an issue with their controller, sometimes it's good to click on reset gamepads or simply restart the parsec. Uh, it happens really quick. So once you click on that, boom, done. <laughs> right? It, it, shuts down the program and opens it back up and that's pretty much it hopefully that's uh helpful for you my friend 
If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, hopefully, covered everything, which I think I did. It's, it's really that simple. Creating an account, doing a speed test, choosing the right bandwidth, and um, and that's that.